A champion will be crowned tonight at Matthews Arena, and history will be made no matter the victor. For Connecticut, it's a chance to win a first-ever Hockey East title and to avenge a number of playoff losses at the hands of a dominant conference rival. For Northeastern, it's an opportunity for immortality. They're just one win away from a record fifth consecutive tournament championship. It's Huskies and Huskies, Northeastern and UConn, with the Britannia Trophy on the, the line. straight away. Floats one off the end board. This one handled by Alex Ann Boyer, the sophomore. Gets double teamed at the circle, and Warner had to make a tough say on Chloe Arar. Arar with the follow-up try. This one stopped with the rebound, gobbled up. Take another look. Fontaine needs two more points to set the career scoring record in this tournament. That's hot. That's great hockey at any level, right there. Mueller early, they can put seven or eight more goals on the board before you know it. But really important, no matter how this game winds up, to keep it close at this stage. As Chloe Arar goes to work, goes to Jovanich at the circle, gloved down by Warner. Still losing the blue paint. Is there a whistle? The twin Taylor up across the zone, caromed over to Frankel. She's able to slide across and make the stop. Her toughest test so far. During the last few moments. Yeah, that's in Doris Ward Irving line. Could be the difference in the game right now. You know, th that matchup might be a tough matchup for UConn. With the two lines, you know, you've got um, the Fox line and this. Some phenomenal chances for Northeastern there during that last sequence, but nothing on the board yet. Yeah, and as I was saying when we went to, before we went to break, is this all started when UConn threw the puck out of out of play from the defensive end, so they couldn't change, which allowed Northeastern to get it the other way. But it winds up with Fox. This is Danielle Fox, the senior, hoping to drop it back for Morgan Wavick, but it's picked off. Husky went down, so that allows Maddie Mills to slide in. Came loose in a follow-up from Carter Deny by Warner. What a great shot. We formula with a decent bit. Yeah, you know, one of the things Coach McKenzie said is he, his team doesn't is covering, because that's going to start there. Just like you saw, it's going to start their breakout. And they're going to have players trapped below the goal line. Turnover here in front. Big chance for Wabek. In on Frankel. She scores! A rare Northeastern mistake. Leads to a 1-0 UConn lead. Let's take another look. There it comes. I mean, she gives her actually three moves. There's one, there's two, and then puts it in. Just a tremendous goal. And Morgan Wabek, all the credit to the grad student from Winnipeg for taking advantage of it, which so few teams can do against a team like this. As Fox gets in, gloved down by Frankel and cleaned up by Chloe Arard. Murphy tried to get her the return fee, but it winds up with Skylar Fontaine, and here she comes. Three-time Hockey East Defender of the Year is turned aside by Megan Warren to the middle, poked up high. That's the second time they've looked for that tip right in front of the net. Not a lot of room for Pasqua there. Alina Mueller finally finds some breathing room to skate it ahead. Chloe Arard, short-handed, goes to the wickets and a kick save by Warner. Maybe a counterattack here for you to go. And this was at the end of the power play, Aaron Frankel with the save. That's a great save. Right at the end, you know, it's funny. The power play may be... Uh, compared to last year at least, Bob, no fans <laughs> permitted in the building here. Great playoff atmosphere as Snodgrass gets it. Terrific playoff atmosphere. Well-deserved. Turnover here. Snodgrass has room. Walking into Frankel. What a block. Shot was blocked by... Fontaine. Peterson straight away. Shot from distance, tipped aside. Not a bad effort from Pasqua. She had Frankel scrambling. Boyer. That one punched away. Aaron Frankel wanted nothing to do with that. This is Fox. Out to Boyer again. Claire Peterson to the circle it goes. For Tormala. Now Peterson once again through traffic. Loved by Frankel. She hangs up in front by a gun song. I think that shows you the type of sacrifice UConn's willing to do. Arar, to get angle. what they're looking for. Kicked back toward the goal. Still stayed out. Now Hobson will go to Fontaine. Skyler Fontaine steps around. Harkness shot was blocked. Rebound comes to Mueller. Across the zone, but nobody holds. That's a power play goal scorers in the history of the game. An active leader in the NCAA in power play goals, Maddie Mills. This is Mueller. Across for Mills. Saved by Warner. A minute 11 to go in the power play. First chance for Northeastern. Five on four. Fontaine. Save made. Puck is loose. It stayed out. Gonsal is able to clear. Keep an eye on number 16, Taylor Wabick, throwing her body at the end line. And uh, what did you just say, Bob? Doing her best impression of the goaltender? That's old school two pad stack right there. <laughs> Good one before winning three to two in the extra frame. Formula now. No one picked her up, so she'll take it right to the net. Got around Carter, throwing across the zone. It goes to Taylor Wabek. Her shot was blocked by Mueller. Got it back. Second try, handled by Frankel with 3.19 to go. Distance hammered off the end boards. 
Hobson now under pressure from Harkness. Three Huskies down low, forced a turnover. Snodgrass denied. Puck up, but not out. The Wabak Twins keep it in along the blue line. Halfway through the power play. This is Taylor Wabak. Power play. As Fontaine fires it across the zone. Hobson will play the loose puck, bringing it all the way in. Now Mueller goes to the middle. One timer came back to Mueller. She scores! We are tied late in the second period. Off a block shot. Alina Mueller has done it again. No. Block shots are a really good thing, and sometimes they can just put you in a bad situation. Oh, she's not going to miss from there. Sign that got on the video board during the intermission that said Maureen Murphy for Patty Kaz, nation leader in goals. This is Alina Mueller looking for her second, and she's got it! It snuck through Warner, and Alina Mueller gives Northeastern a 2-1 lead. That is such a goal scorer as goal. The way she faked the shot, took it to the middle on her forehand, pushed it outside the defender, and then put it five hole on Warner. Here it comes right here. She pushes it to the middle, and then a quick release through Warner's five hole. Just a great play by a great player. 48 to go here in the third period. You see Murphy with a chance there. Again, you know, North McKinnis took it away. Nygrass picked it off in the corner. Now she's pinned against the boards by Ward. Harkness pokes. This is Peterson dragging it ahead. Give it back to Harkness. Her shot off the glove. Tipped free by Franklin. Breakaway we mentioned off of a Northeastern turnover. A block shot that came right to the prolific Alina Mueller. And then her second goal just snuck through the goaltender's wicket, says Harkness got a good shot on it. A chest pad save from Frankel. She's up in. She's got it again at center. Throws it back to Mueller. And Mueller will skate it in. Save made there. Rebound is swept to the corner. Mueller, of course, is one goal away from a hat trick here in the championship game. Fontaine. Had the shot block, bounces in front. Irving with a follow-up, and Warner able to cover. Mueller will move in by herself. Waits for Murphy and company to join her. She'll go to Fontaine out high. That one stick to side by Warner. And she approaches a career-high save total. Made that stop as well. Comes out to Mueller. Dobson got the stick in. And Coach McKenzie will be looking to make sure that that Mueller line is off the ice. And it's Chloe Arard with the dagger. A bouncing puck came free, and it's 3-1 Northeastern. I was just going to say that Coach McKenzie will be waiting for that Mueller line to get off the ice before he pulled his goalie. Now he's down by two goals. He's going to have to do it pretty quickly. What a great play. Again, just a, a world-class player, Chloe Ra, finding the five hole right there in tight. It's one of the few times the UConn defender has missed their check or lost their check around the no net. No need to even shoot it for Northeastern. They might as Mueller sends it through traffic. Pinballed around. Arard on the backhand. Got through the goaltender and a fall down stop. The goal light went off prematurely. No signal from the referees. And with under two minutes left, it stays 3-1. Warner didn't have her stick there at all. So that was really a, a remarkable save by her. She's got no stick. It's on the goal line there. Wow. That puck changed the line. championship game. The biggest stage. Down the ice it goes. Gonzalez will get it. Stretch pass ahead. It's never happened before. It might never happen again. Five in a row for Northeastern. Hockey's champions again.